Nine at six, the community is awaiting the release of body camera footage from Metro Police after the police department says an officer unintentionally discharged his gun this week. One bullet hitting two teenagers. Now some are asking, why did it take so long to notify the public? WHS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez is getting some answers. And Isaiah, you talked with a veteran of legal issues who's really been a part of some major investigations involving police shootings. Yeah, Doug, and we talked about how so many of the details of this case remain unclear at this time. Details that only the body camera video and audio will help us figure out. But a former Kentucky Public Safety Secretary believes one piece of information here is almost certain. I think the likelihood of a accidental, meaning the gun went off by itself, that would be an extraordinarily rare, if not impossible, situation. J. Michael Brown has overseen some high publicity cases as a former lawyer and high ranking cabinet official in both Bashir administrations. That includes determining it was a bullet from a Kentucky National Guard officer, not an LMPD officer, that killed David McAtee in the heat of the 2020 protests. Now he works with Simmons College of Kentucky. Given his expertise, we asked for perspective on LMPD's latest officer involved shooting that injured two teens. Any red flags that you get from where things are right now? Not at, n not at this point. Now, you know, we'll see again what the audio tape and the body camera reveals, and I think that will go a lot further to determine was this unintentional. Brown doesn't necessarily take issue with the time it took for the public to be notified a day later. I don't see anything that was intentionally withheld. No. We asked Interim Police Chief Jackie Gwynn Billaroyal if the time frame and details being released is concerning. No, it's not any concern um, that I have at this time on that. If his guns accidentally went off, praise be to God, it wasn't an accidental murder. Activist Rhonda Mathis questions if anything is being done differently within the department in this new administration. It's still too many unanswered questions. It's more words than actions. Ultimately, until the body cam footage is released, if there was a shot fired, is there any indication that they knew where it went? Brown says questions like these will remain up in the air. And no time frame yet on when the video could be released. Now, Mayor Craig Greenberg, of course, saying he's urging LMPD to get it out as quickly as possible. We also reached out to KSP asking why they're choosing to let LMPD conduct its own investigation first in this case. We have not heard back yet as of news time. Doug.